Man, so I, I think that climate change is obviously a problem that impacts us all globally. And I think that in that, re- in that way, it's got these roots that are kind of tentacled into lots of other um, disciplines of our life, and lots of other you know, avenues of our life. So when we think about how it impacts us economically, I mean, we're talking about decisions that we're making in education, decisions that we're making in how we teach people to utilize the emerging technology, as well as kind of take us back to like a, I don't even want to say a simpler way of life, but uh, but a way of life that is that is more considerate, you know, of, of the long-term impacts and how it's going to impact our environment, impact our world. So in that way, it starts to really sort of uh, trickle down, which is not a good term to use, but trickle down <laughs> into uh, the more, if I if you would, if I if I could say like even mundane parts of our society, like um, how we make decisions about who we visit and how frequently we visit them, how we make obviously how we make decisions about how we shop and whether we shop locally and whether we buy products that are locally grown or products that have to travel across the country and what that means for you know greenhouse gases, what that means for waste, what that means for cost, and then we're talking about agricultural policy and how we subsidize or not subsidize farmers in order to make an orange affordable to you out of season. So all of these things start to impact the, this kind of cyclical nature and interconnected nature of our economics with how we treat our earth, how we treat our planet, you know, and I think that those things, we're just starting to realize that those things aren't separate and that one consideration on this end of the equation impacts the outcome on this end of the equation.